morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to start by thanking the Minnesota um, organization for bringing us together uh, to present our passions and the projects that we're going to do. My name is Sheila Mudemba. I'm from Kenya, and uh, my background is uh, I have done a master. Uh, I just completed my master's in public administration with a focus in international development. And my interest is women, empowerment in Africa, and development. Let me read you a short story to introduce my platform. I am, a seven, I, I am 17 and about to complete high school. I can't wait. My worry is that my, ma my younger sister and brother will not be able to handle being alone with mom when I go to college. She throws things and is verbally abusive when she gets drunk. She ends up sleeping on the sitting room floor and soiling herself. It is embarrassing to bring friends over. It is even worse when the house helps us to clean. What can I do to stop her from drinking and to protect my siblings? A few years ago, this was my story. My mother suffered alcohol addiction. And for, let's say, 20 years of my life, my mother really did not participate. Other relatives had to step in, my grandmother, uh, my aunties, and my father, because she was too engrossed in alcohol addiction. I used to think this was really bad, and at some point I never even used to speak to her. I would see her walking in the street and I would turn the other way because it was embarrassing. But luckily she has been able to seek treatment and uh, is now an addiction counselor in Kenya and a motivational speaker. Because of that, because of the story, my goal for this Miss Africa is to use the, to advocate for women who are battling alcohol addiction and help them get into rehabilitation centers and also address the stigma that surround um, alcohol addiction. It's almost, you cannot talk about a woman drinking back home. It's a shame. In addition, they cannot seek treatment because it's way too expensive and there are no rehabilitation centers that take care of women specifically and their children. So they end up opting not to go and they neglect their children. This causes emotional uh, problems, financial because all the money is directed to drinking, physical because they keep getting sick. I remember a time when I used to wait for a phone call for anything to happen to my mother. I was expecting her to die any time. And any time I got a phone call from my father I, and she would say it's my mom, I would think she was gonna die. But she's okay now and I want to help women like those. And my objectives are first to raise awareness. Addiction is not a choice, it's a disease. And these people need help, they need love. I want to connect the women who are willing to uh, get addiction uh, treatment uh, with sponsors. And um, we've already started uh, doing the awareness because my mother is writing articles in, in newspapers, doing talk shows. And um, also I want to partner with organizations like Nakada, she works for the national organization that deals with alcoholism and addiction and they talk international here in the United States. Thank you. In the famous words of Barack Obama, I'm ready to go and I'm here to let you know what I'm here for. For my brothers and sisters in the north, assalamu alaikum. To my brothers and sisters in the south, wanti. To my brothers and sisters in the west, wantwa. And from my home country, Kenya, located on the east, I'm Jambo. My names are Gloria Lily Akini McCarthy. I stand here in front of you as a strong African woman, ready to take charge. When I look around the room, I see hope for Africa. I see the next generation of African women taking charge. I see the key to Africa's development. And with that said, my platform is on sustainable development. I chose sustainable development because currently in my country there's a project underway by the name Vision 2030. Vision 2030 is a, pro is a development project that is used in my country to see what in the year 2030 my country is going to look like. With that said, my micro project is going to be on Adopt a School Foundation that I've started with my fellow Miss Kenya 2008 contestants. And we're helping with building school infrastructure for our needy students in, our, in my country. Currently, I'm proud to say that the government in my country has allowed students to go to school for free. But that is a plus, but yes, a negative. Because now we have 
too many students in a small room, all trying to get this education. So therefore, I've taken it upon myself and my fellow contestants to help them with building schools so they can go to school. And I hope that in the near future, I can tap into each and every one of your countries and you will have the same progress in your country. And with that, I thank you. And I hope the best for everyone else. Good morning. Good morning. It's been a long journey. I just got here at 7 a.m. So, um, hello, my fellow sisters. Um, my name is Rebecca Ajua Kwatuma Afuri and I am representing Ghana, West Africa. But I also feel connected to the whole continent on the whole. And especially as a woman, I feel connected to women around the world on the whole. So my platform is Global Health um, from a three tier uh, perspective or approach. And the first approach is social, and the next approach is environmental. And the last approach is the medicine. I am currently studying uh, public health at Mount Sinai Medical School in New York. And I also have a nonprofit organization that I've been running since 2007. So I feel that I would be able to fulfill the goals that are highlighted in my platform because I have the experience and the knowledge and also the will to get a lot of these goals fulfilled. Um, the social aspect of my platform is really dealing with mental health and how people view what is a healthy lifestyle. Not only in the United States, because as Miss Africa USA, I was representing the United States as well, but in Africa. I feel as though Africans sometimes don't know about how their mental state really affects their health. The next part that I would like to approach is the environmental, the environmental factors that affect health. Uh, a good example of this is air pollution and how that affects asthma and other respiratory problems. The last part of my platform is preventative, or preventative measures. How can we actually impact the problem? How can we actually get things done? What can be done to stop certain uh, health ills from affecting the African people? More specifically, I'm looking at at-risk populations. So people who are suffering from um, diseases that a lot of people don't know about. And this does include HIV, but it also includes uh, diseases like PSD, <coughs> post-traumatic stress syndrome, um, and also heart problems. So my mini project is a project called Mind, Body, and Soul, a new vision of African health from a global perspective. And that vision comes with encouraging African people all around the world to participate in this movement to change the face of health in Africa. And the MIND program, I will focus on HIV educational programs, going around and teaching the youth and also people who are, uh, who are older about how to prevent uh, HIV AIDS and AIDS. Also PSD, uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome awareness, and then I would also do a program on yoga and meditation, teaching people how to do meditation as a way to lower stress and also heart problems. And in the body part of it, I would coordinate exercising uh, programs, walking exercising programs, and then also set up free clinics where people can get tested for things like diabetes. And the last part is the soul, which is the volunteer part and the impact part. I would work with organizations like Trees for the Future, which would target the environmental part, sustainability one, which would target the hunger and diet part um, as well, and encouraging the spirit of the healthy environment. Thank you.